Welcome viewers to Tech Behemoth. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put a lock or passcode on your iPod Touch or iPhone. All you have to do is find the settings on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Just go ahead and click it and then go down to general and then from here scroll down until you see this three line block here it says auto lock, passcode lock, restrictions. Uh, you know, if it's the first time, you know, I believe you would have to click this. I have used the code already, so it's it changes it slightly. Like if I were to turn it on, it'll ask me to well enter a passcode. It'd be I think it's the old one. But here you will put your four digits. And now, if I were to close it and turn it back on, it'll be asking you for the passcode. Simple enough. Uh, this first one here, the auto, uh, auto lock, what this is is it'll auto lock after this certain time limit. You can go from one minute to five minutes to never. Never is almost like if you don't have a passcode but once you close it or you know once you press the uh, the sleep mode button on top it then you'll need to put a passcode on uh, and also as you can see when you want to go back into and change your options for the passcode you'll need to put the code back in again if you would like to change it you can just change it first one is to enter the old code and now you enter a new code which I'll just well in this case I guess is asking for something different and that should do it uh, this one here the required passcode you could change it from you know differently I would say for best security go with immediately you don't want to have any delay. Well, you could, but you know it all depends on your preference. Now, there's the simple passcode. The simple passcode, like it says on here, is a four-digit number. It's those four-digit numbers that I used. You could turn it on or off. See now, now you can use a keyboard. You can do all sorts of. Uh, you know, make a long password if you like. I usually don't bother with that. I stick with the regular. And there is also one more thing I would definitely want to show you. And that's here at the very bottom. It's erase data. I have it off. I could leave it on because I do sync it with the computer. Uh, if you do sync it with the computer, it's more than likely a good idea to put this to yes. Because what happens is if someone finds it and tries to put a pin and it's wrong 10 times. Hopefully they don't get it right within those first 10 times. But if they get it wrong on the 10th, uh, failed attempt, it will erase your entire iPod Touch. So whatever important information you have on it will be safe. Again, this is up to you. Preference, whatever you like. If you do sync it, you know, sync it often enough, you more than likely want to put that on. Safe, you know, better safe than sorry. But overall, that is how you put your uh, passcode lock in. Hopefully, this helps. Have a good day, and see you next time.